Hey guys, it's Jaden from the Loom Lab and here's uh, Tuesday's video and I'm showing you today how to make the double band fishtail. So the double band fishtail is basically exactly how the name says. Instead of just using one band every time you loop over on a fishtail, you're using two on this. So the things you're going to need to make this bracelet is um, either a rainbow loom like this, um, you can use a mini loom, like that. You can use two hooks, if you've got, like, just two hooks, like those kind of hooks. Um, you can use um, a plastic fork with the two middle prongs broken down. You can use pencils. You can basically use anything that only needs uh, two different pegs. And I'm going to be using the Monster Tail Travel Loom. Um, the, also, the things you're going to need for this bracelet um, is your hook. I'm going to be using this plastic one from Rainbow Loom that came with my Rainbow Loom. Um, and you're going to need bands. There's my band box at the moment. Um, I'm going to be actually doing a video on this pretty soon. This is a crisscross quadfish. Um, and... That's what it looks like, but I'm going to be making that in a different video. Anyway, I'm going to be using, for this video today, to make this double band fishtail, um, I'm going to be using the colours um, gold, black, silver, and purple. Um, so, I'm, you're going to get your contraption or whatever you're using, I'm going to use the monster tail. Um, and you're going to... Make sure that you have an S or C clip first before I forget. So that's an S clip, usually in England. And that's a C clip, usually used in America. But anyway, besides the point, let's get on with it. So, you're going to take two coloured bands, whatever colours you're going to use. Make sure... But make sure that you know that this is going to use double the amount of bands as the fishtail. Um, so instead of using about 50 bands, it's going to make a, it's going to need about 100. So get your two bands and place them on two what, the first peg like that, and then make it into a figure of eight like that. So they're crossed over like that. Make sure to push it down like that. Grab your next two colours. I'm going to use purple Ooh. and place them over the two pins. No crosses or anything, just place it over the two pins like that and push it down. Grab your next two colours, so I'm going to use black, and place it over the two pegs like that. Now you're going to start looping. So you grab your hook, and you're going to take the two bottom colours. I definitely suggest not making um, a one colour bracelet. Uh, one colour double fishtail bracelet because you're going to have six bands all the time on the pegs and if they're all red or all black or whatever it's going to be really hard to distinguish between the two so I can tell here that I, the first bands that I placed were the gold ones so I know I need to take those over the top and over push down then I'm going to get two silvers and place them over the two pegs like that and then you're going to take the bottom two bands over the top so I know that it's both the purples this time over over and push down it's going to be quite tight just make sure to keep pushing down that's the key in this bracelet you're then going to get your next colour, so I'm going to use gold. Grab two and place it over both of the pins. Like that. Then take your hook and take over the bottom two bands. Over and over. 
and just turn your contraption around whatever you're using. Use your hook to get at those bands that you very first placed, the ones that you did the crosses with. So mine are those golds there. And just fish for them and push it down. Um, if you want to, you can do that now, but um, you don't have to. What well, I find it kind of easier, but if you get your two fingers in all those four bands that you placed in crosses, well, two bands, but that you placed in crosses, you're going to take your C-clip and you can attach it now. It'll make it just a little bit easier. You don't have to do it yet, but I think it makes it a bit easier if you do it now, especially then when you need to pull on your bracelet, you can just pull by the clip and you know that it's going to pull down. So then get your next two colours, purple for me, place it over the two ba uh, two pegs, take the bottom two bands over the top, over, and over, and push it, pull it at the bottom. Then your next two colours, so I think, yeah, mine is black, so... Grab the two bands, place it over the top, like that. Take the bottom two bands and put them over the top. And that's what you're doing all the way until you've got a bracelet. So you can start to see them, you can start to see the bracelet coming out of the bottom. It's actually going to take just as long as the fishtail because you're going to be using uh, the same amount of time but you're just putting two bands on instead. Um, so it's not too lo long of a bracelet um, but it does take double the bands of a fishtail. So I'll show you once more... One, oh God. I really can't speak whenever I do videos. You're going to take one more band, one more set of two bands and you're going to place them over the two pegs so like that and take the bottom band the bottom two bands over the top and over the top that's the last time I'm going to show you now and you're just going to carry on doing that until this band, this bracelet coming out of the bottom is long enough to fit your wrist. So um, I'm going to go off air, finish it until I've got a bracelet um, and then come back on air. Okay, so I've gone ahead and finished up the length of my bracelet. Um, this is what mine looks like. And now we're going to go ahead and finish it. <clears throat> so you're going to lay your very last two sets of bands, uh, whatever they colours may be, mine are black, so I'm just going to place those on. That's my very last set of two bands, and I'm going to take the golds over one by one. Actually, this time I've done it. It doesn't really matter if you did it one by one or twice, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> So, now we have finished our uh, last set of two, we're going to grab one single band, rubber band, and place it over the two pegs. And then you're going to get all of these bands on your hook and take it over the top. So, I'm actually just going to kind of do it in sets just to make sure that I don't miss any. So, there. So, now they've all gone over on that side and you can pull to make sure that it won't come out. And I'll just let my camera adjust. Put it down. There we go. So now you can do the same on this side. Grab all the bands, take them around. Except that silver. So now you should be just left with that silver. That's that very last silver that you've just placed. Like that. Now you can you need to take them over to one peg. So it doesn't matter which peg you really take it over to. I'm just going to take this peg over, so you're going to take it on your hook, like that, and take it over to this other side, this other peg. So now both sides of that band are on the same peg. You're then going to get your hook and take them both in and place it on the opposite peg. Like that. Oh, my camera's being really annoying. 
Okay, there we go. So you're going to then, if you've had already attached your clip on the other side like I have, um, then you can just clip it on. If you haven't, locate the four bands that are kind of sticking out at the end um, and put them on the clip and put the other side of the clip there, just like that. Remove it from the monster tail. Oh, I'm kind of in a pickle. I don't want to wear the monster tail. If that happens, unclip your clip, unclip it, get the monster tail out. And, hmm. and that is your finished double band fishtail bracelet. That is what it will look like depending on your colour scheme. That's better. I don't know why it was on that effect. Um, that is what it looks like. Um, I hope you like it. This is attached with a C clip at the end, just if you're wondering. And it was using this hook, these bands in there, and of course, monster tail. Trusty monster tail. If you don't have a monster tail, I strongly suggest you get it. <clears throat> Even if you don't have a rainbow loom, I suggest you get a monster tail more than a rainbow loom because you can do nearly all the bracelets that you could, well not nearly all, but um, you can do um, the majority of the bracelets that are on the rainbow loom on the monster tail because it does have these eight pins and it's quite small and practical. Um, so um, more, I'm going to issue some more news on my giveaway. <clears throat> the giveaway will be the next video on Friday, I think it's Friday the 12th, um, that is going to be my giveaway day um, and I'm not going to tell just yet what the prizes are going to be but um, it's going to be my very first giveaway and I'm going to try and make it a little bit special. Um, so thanks for watching, I hope you like this bracelet and this video, if you did please bring, give it a big thumbs up. Um, Please, will you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel? I think I've already just said that, but whatever. Um, and I will see you later. Thank you. Bye.